YouTuber and welcome back to The Domain. Today, Spartan not so tough I think. Break open easily. It's Bassos, the Brute Chieftain versus Master Chief. And this looks like a really nice Master Chief, let me tell you that. This is, uh, yeah, it's the Master Chief versus Brute Chieftain, but let's be honest, this is clearly Bassos. Jager Redomni versus a Spartan is clearly something that happened in Halo Infinite. The Master Chief versus Bassos is one of my favorite moments from the campaign. The first time I ever faced off against Bassos, I got wailed on about maybe like 10 times and then I won. But then I watched Kellen face off against Bassos the other day on heroic and he got destroyed like at least a hundred times. It was brutal. And here we've got the chief with a hydra launcher, which in hindsight, next time I face off against Bassos, I'll definitely be bringing a hydra with it. Ready to deface some packaging? Three, two, one. Oh no. The main man monkey himself. He looks so angry. Yeah, we got quite a few monkeys. Tavares, Hyperius, Eshram, and now Bassos. I kind of wish it was called Bassos, but I guess that uh, Jazzware didn't want to spoil anything if it leaked early because we didn't know about Bassos until I, I think we, we played the mission, right? I, I think it was a total surprise to people. So I'm glad it stayed that way. And I love myself a gravity hammer. And this one is pretty meaty, pretty heavy. I like that a lot. Let's get everybody out so we can review them one by one. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, that is, uh, that is dope. Look at Bashors. If you want to collect something, let me tell you. Halo Brute Chieftain figures. The Halo 3 Brute Chieftain and the Halo Reach Brute Chieftain are now some of the most expensive figures. So if you want to invest in something that I think will have a big value in about like 15 years time, maybe even like five or six years time, buy Bassos, man, buy the Chieftain. I know this is probably like very widely distributed, so maybe it won't be the same value. And it is also like a bit smaller than McFarlane. Bassos, oh yes. There he is with his big, well, I mean, it's a big gravity hammer, but for him it looks small because he's such a big monkey. Spartan's not so tough, I think. Break oh. open easy. Yeah, you have to do it once. The removable helmet is a great touch, same as Hyperius and Tavares. And at least this Craig does have a beard. I don't like the fact that Hyperius has just a Craig face. That is not what I want to see on like a Spartan killer, right? But this one at least does have a beard and some red eyes, makes him look very menacing. And some really nice black washes on this head. Just brings it all together. The uh, actual helmet and a lot of this armor, while you think uh, maybe from product imaging, it might just be plain gold. It does have a nice bleeding sort of running effect of different uh, coppers. I love this wrist attachment and these shoulders. They're like very streamlined, very tight together, like two pieces really tightly intertwined. You can sort of like have a little little strut here. Like, <laughs> this is a good figure, man. This is a high quality figure. I'm a, I'm a big fan of this Tavares. Oh, Tavares? No, Hyperius? <laughs> Brutus? <laughs> no, this is Bassus. Or at least I think it's Bassus. Just the same base plate twice. And attaching these together uh, does actually give, you know, the same, the same color, the same texture. A lot of these sets come with different ones, which, yeah, you can attach them together, but it's not really uh, realistic. But this is like just rock. So that does make sense. And we're gonna have just rock for this big Bassus monkey boy. There we are. That's that's really dope, man. And I love seeing this Brute Chieftain in the official Jazzware stop motion animation. Really tight uh, Chief, actually. I love this battle damage on his chest, this scorching. The gold, you know, a lot of these visors, I do find that they're uh, a little bit poorly applied, but I really do like this, uh, this dark and sort of scorching effect to the Chief's armor. He's got that same uh, scorching on his leg and the same silver dry brushing that most of these figures have just all over his armor. So that's really nice. This is actually the first World of Halo Master Chief I've got purposefully. I bought this Chief and Bassos from an Amazon warehouse sale. I kept them sealed. I was like, well, I don't need any more Master Chiefs now. But then you find there's like a three pack with the Chief, a Spartan Mark VII and a Jackal Sniper. I would love to get that, but I'm just not going to buy myself a second Chief. Absolutely don't need it, don't want it. But yeah, this uh, this Chieftain and Chief, Chief and Chieftain will stay very nicely in my display in England. And this Hydra is just plain gray and black, but we love it for it. Like we, we, we love the Hydra. I mean, kind of. I, I like the Hydra. I don't like the locking on effect of the Hydra. I just really like just like randomly firing the Hydra in campaign. And I've actually found that a lot of the weapons that I don't particularly like in multiplayer, I've grown to absolutely love in campaign. Like some have clearly been designed for campaign.
campaign. Like, in my opinion, the Ravager is just designed for fun campaign gameplay. The Master Chief versus Brute Chieftain. You can really see how much bigger these gorillas are compared to Spartans, and then Marines are just tiny in comparison. Mega Constructs, you know, because they want everything compatible with everything. They've never really scaled any figures differently, so the Brutes are the same size as the Marines and the Spartans, which I know some people don't like, but you do have to have everything compatible with every vehicle and every set piece. It makes sense to me. But this Master Chief definitely is towering in front of uh, this <laughs> Brutus, this big ravaging monkey boy, and he has a great gravity hammer with some basic colors and some red highlights to show that it's pulsing, like it's charging. So let me know in the comments down below, guys, have you managed to score this Master Chief versus Bassus, Master Chief versus Brute Chieftain? We recently got Bassus in the Banished Garrison pack as well, and I'm in love with that one. Let me know down below if you want to pick this up. Is this on your shopping list? You stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. This was another video with the domain. Bassus is signing off. Spartan's not so tough, I think. Break open easy. Soft inside. Chief? I see him. Ah! Ah!